All right, this is the RFID chicken coop idea. So um, basically you see here that we have the frame. This is not going to be the actual frame, but this is uh, a good, just so we can test things out. This is our tunnel. <clears throat> we will have to uh, cover areas of this just to make sure uh, with some metal, just to make sure that it doesn't pick up because it will pick up tags um, uh, at, a, at a pretty decent distance. Um, but the idea here is that uh, the chickens will enter in one way um, and have to go by one of these two antennas or, you know, have to go by the antenna in order to know um, uh, whether they're in or out and then we'll have a door. So our door is going to be simulated by this uh, servo motor here, which is our door. And if you look at our screen here, we have control. So I also have control via the um, uh, via remote so what I'll do is I will uh, close and open the door so if we need to override we can close and open the door and the LED shows these two LED will show the status as well of uh, whether our door is open or closed I will open it back up as well as the status uh, will be shown here uh, coop door status door open and the system right now is disarmed uh, and it's also showing that all of the hens are in, um, and they are in because these are our RFID tags right here, and they're in the in position, meaning they're they're over here. So once I arm the system, um, and the yellow LED indicates that the system is not armed, but once I arm the system, um, and, each, uh, and all of the hens are in, it will shut the door. And I'll show you another screen here, um, which is also on the phone as well, or anything that's on the network, but if I go to the yard bird screen, it'll show sugar in, cinnamon, spice in. Those are our three uh, birds. So one of the first things I'm gonna do here is I'm going to take our three birds, sugar, cinnamon, and spice, and I'm going to take them out. So they're going to leave the coop. So they're going through here, they pass through this antenna, they pass through this antenna, and then they go wee, wee, wee all the way home over here, and hopefully they're not picked up. But what will eventually happen is, is that we will see sugar out, cinnamon out, spice out, um, and our um, uh, LED will eventually turn red here. And what that lets us know is that all of our birds are out. Our condition is we're not armed at all. All of the birds are out and the door is open. Um, so like I said, you do have control at any point to shut the door or not shut the door. But what we'll do is, is we'll bring our birds in one by one and see what happens. So we'll just take our first bird and we'll come this way with it. And our first bird is gonna go by this antenna and it's gonna go by this antenna. It's gonna go wee, wee, wee all the way home or cluck, cluck, cluck all the way home. And what we will eventually see here is one of those will uh, show up as spice is in. So we will repeat this. Um, is our system armed? Did I even arm it? Uh, no, it's not armed. So what I'm going to do is real quick. I didn't think about that. Um, I'm going to arm the system and once I arm the system I'm going to go here and I'm going to arm and the system is armed and you see the green LED here. When we get two greens that lets us know everybody's in and and once that happens the door is going to shut. Should have shown that before. But we also see here that our status is armed and I can like I said I can do that on the phone or anywhere. So here comes our second hen, and our second hen comes by here, and uh, makes it by, and comes by this antenna as well, and wee 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 all the way home, and eventually when I go back to our yard bird screen, and it tells us that some hens are out at this point, um, but when I go to the yard bird screen, we see that sugar is in, spice is in, the only one that is out is cinnamon. Our door is open still, obviously, if we have a bird out. Um, and the uh, door is armed. So what we will um, see happen here is once our uh, bird is in and the system, uh, you know, so a timer goes off, uh, our door will shut. So let's take our last uh, hen and we'll bring our last hen in. And here comes our last hen. And she's just late for the evening getting put up, but she does make it in. And after she comes by, this will let us know that all of our hens are in. Uh, and eventually we will see um, uh, the hen register here as in. Uh, once that happens, since our system is armed, uh, we're gonna see our LED eventually change state and our door 
is going to close. And there we go. All of our hens are in. The door is closed. We have two green lights uh, uh, indicating that uh, all of the hens are in. And the other green light indicates that the system is armed. Uh, the door is armed. And the uh, blue light indicates that our door is closed. But we uh, know all of this as well by going uh, here. And um, we can show that our door is closed. Um, our system is armed. All hens are in, and even if we uh, take a look at our yard bird screen, it shows that all the hens are in and the doors close. And um, when uh, time comes to uh, let them up, I can just simply uh, disarm the door. Um, uh, because if I attempt to open the door right now with the system is armed, it, um, the motor won't stay open. As you see there, it won't stay. Uh, so I'll have to disarm. And once I've disarmed the system, I can either tap that twice uh, or just open the coop door and it opens up and now our hens can leave. So that is um, the rough, um, uh, this is kind of our first um, pass here with everything working the way it should. Uh, this is the program here on Node Red. What I'm using here is a Raspberry Pi that has an Arduino slave to it. The Arduino is running the servo motor um, slave directly to the Raspberry Pi. Uh, so that is the, um, that's all the electronics that will really be needed other than the door electronics or once we get, you know, figure out what we're going to use as a door. Uh, we don't really know that yet. Um, something's got to be weatherproof, yada, 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 all of that for the whole frame and all of that. But, um, so kind of still working on that, but I had to get this down. So now that we have the electronics down, we'll kind of debug a few things. But that is about it. Thanks a lot, and uh, see you later.